So I thought we'd put together a little video on sc rough scoring a deer so you have an idea. You get questions like, what is this deer score? You see it all the time online. This is by no means an official score. This is just like a rough, how to get an idea what buck you have. So we picked this buck because it has everything you need to get all the measurements for mass and everything. So we're just gonna go through it, break it down side by side and see what this deer comes up with. So you start with, I always start with the main beam, which runs from this point all the way down around to the base. So you run from the tip here. All the way down the beam. And then you go to the eighth. I mean, if you're rough scoring, you can do, a lot of guys will just go to the quarter, but we like to go to the eighth. So we're gonna go at 20 and four, which is four eighths, which is a half inch. Then I work my way through the antler this way. You can do it any which way you want, but that's how I do it. So then I go to the G4 which is the first one that comes off the main beam here, is a G4. Start at the tip, come down, and we're going for an imaginary line of where the main beam would normally cross. So on this one, we're looking at around 10 and six. So that's 10 and three quarter inches long. Now I keep working my way to the G3. Same idea, start at the tip, come down and around to where this imaginary line would be. Like if this point was removed, where it would be. And we come up with 12.6. Then you come back, this is G2. G2 runs from here to the main beam. Do the same. Go from the point all the way down. To 18, two. It's a weird order how they put it, but this is the G1. The G1 is the eye guard and it's the same principle. You go from point to the imaginary spot. If you cut this point off, this antler didn't have it, that's where it would be. And you're sitting at about two even. Now that we've done all the time lengths, we'll go through and do the mass measurements, which is gonna be between the burr and the eye guard, or the G1, is gonna be the first measurement. We come up with five, five. Work our way up between the burp, between the eye guard and the split in the horn where the G2 comes up is where the next one will be. Come up with four, three. Move up again to the next branch, halfway between where it splits off the main beam and where the G3 comes up. That's where we'll take our next one. Four, even. Then the last one will be off the main beam between the G2 and the G4, halfway. 4-1. And the last thing we would find on this side is 
any points over an inch. So it has to be an inch long and it has to be longer than it is wide at the base to be counted officially. So on this one, it would be one four. That would be his left side is now measured. So we move to the right side. Start starting with the main beam again. left for scoring reasons is inside the main beams, which is the widest point of that. Twenty-one. So now we'll take the right, the left, add them together, and then add the inside and the main beams to come up a rough score of what this gear is. It's not exact, it's not official, but it gives you an idea of the range that he's in. He has a lot of characteristics that aren't gonna show up in the score. He's pretty gnarly looking, Cool character curling in, heavy bladed points. None of that's going to show up in the score, but it shows up when you see him for yourself. So when you see a number, it doesn't always correlate to how awesome the animal is.